<laughs> well, that sucks. Well, I realized I didn't make an intro to this video, and, uh, well, right now I'm actually in the hospital with these two lovely, lovely people. My son Emmett was born just yesterday. Of course, this is on March 2nd, so you're seeing it on a different day than it's actually happening, but <clears throat> I just wanted to explain the beginning of this video. I, uh... I had a bobber with a little shiner that I threw out there. I didn't really explain that in the beginning of the video, so you need to have that background when watching this video, so check it out. I'm probably gonna lose this, but I'm gonna try it anyways. All right. Thing. I think so. <laughs> I found one of them though. Oh my goodness. There we go. Not a bad size little guy. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, he's been caught before. Look at that. Shoo wee. Now it's time to release him back into the wild. Come on, little dude. <laughs> I had that on a bobber with that little minnow. Just let it sit out there and then I look over and my minnow's gone or my bobber's gone. So I guess it works. We're going to try it again. Hot dang. Can't complain with that. It's always good when you're catching fish. Even if you didn't expect it to be that way. <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even see it disappear. It just was gone. See if we can't repeat that. The skunk is off the board and not a bad fish to do it on either. Now, if we could only get a walleye. Walleye would be nice. It's weird being here with people and trying to talk and I'm still not used to that quite yet. Talking to myself while there's other people around. It makes me feel like I'm a crazy person. what I like to call a fisherman fossil. This is a Budweiser can from like the 70s, maybe the 80s. So fishermen have been here for a while. It's pretty impressive. Oh yeah, this is what I'm using. This Amazon, you call it a bicycle chain lure? Because it kind of looks like a chain or something. Ow!
that sucks. You know what though? I'm not gonna quit yet. Got some shiners here. Already this money, I guess it doesn't matter much. Let's try and get down this again without dying. Good grief. Kinda fell on that one, guys. Shoot, that was annoying. I fell right on my, right on my side. If that wasn't fun enough, the bucket of water poured in my face. <laughs> Well, that was a lot muddier than I was hoping for. As you can see, I had two pretty good falls on both legs. So that was great. But uh, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please drop a like, thumbs up, whatever they're called. And uh, I will be giving this place another try when it's not as muddy. Although I am happy that I caught something on this trip. If you uh, if you haven't already, think about subscribing. As always, thank you for your support and uh, stay fishy, friends. It's dark. I look sick. <laughs> <laughs> and not the good way. You look like you're going through chemo or something. Gosh, that's horrible. Aiden, tell us your story about going to the bait shop. How was that? <laughs> it's Come good. On. Asian bait shops are nice. They chain smoke and they are always open. What did she say to you again? <laughs> she said, "What? Why are you going fishing right now?" <laughs> like, to catch so catfish, work? yeah, because you're not at work. So here's our bait. Just a bunch of shiners and. uh We've got the Abu Garcia right here, old sea striker, Big Bertha, and back here we have a new setup. Found this pole on sale. It was missing the reel and the rod and reel combo, so we got it half off. So, uh, that's pretty exciting. Okay, now we're joined here with Thomas. You guys have seen Thomas before. Unfortunately. He hasn't broken any of my cameras yet, but we're waiting for the day. One day it's probably going to happen. But let's bring it close up so we can see what, what everyone looks like on VR. <clears throat> Thomas, you look like a creepy guy who just got caught in the bushes at someone's house. Hayden literally looks like... <laughs> <laughs> he does look like the, the zombie things from... I am he looks like the zombies from I Am Legend. Just imagine <laughs> it. What are you doing here, Fred? <laughs> <laughs> he does. You look very Nordic. Oh, man. Oh, God. But, uh, yeah, we're out here just, uh, we're in a different spot in very deep water. I mean, it's probably over 100 feet. I'd say probably 100 feet. That's yeah, so almost the same depth as Mariana Trench. It's basically Cherokee Lake's version of the Mariana Trench. So, yeah. It's uh, probably going to catch a narwhal. You think we'll catch a narwhal? Or, uh, yeah, I think a narwhal. Um, Leopluridon. Leopluridon. Le Leopluridon, yeah. Those are, uh, I think that they're in season right now. Greenland shark. Greenland shark, those are crazy. They get up to like four and five hundred years old. Yeah, they are, yeah. Yeah. Um, but I think, realistically, we're going after the Loch Ness Monster. I think this is where he vacations at, Cherokee Lake. Makes but, sense. Uh, it's a lovely place. Yeah. It's nice and warm. It's like, it says it's like 45 degrees, but it feels more like cold. cold. It's not that bad. It says Thomas, who's been out here yet. for 10 minutes. Well, it's not that bad. You're also dressed like you're about to shovel a walk or something. Well, because, like I mean, I prepared for it. I, pre I, I did too. I'm warm. Hayden's the one who's, of course, he, he looks sickly, so. He's just a munching on some chips. <laughs> well, we'll let you know if we catch any fishes.